received a case about a stolen car. And uh, we reached out uh, to the young person and, and he pretty quickly took responsibility for it. So we reached out to the victim and the victim um, was extremely unhappy that the case had been diverted. And she'd brought a friend with her that day and he said, I would really love for you to move forward and really like to meet with this young man too. And so on the day of the conference, um, it was very powerful. Her friend leans in and he says, I know you because I used to be you. And he proceeds to tell the most powerful story about how he himself got caught up in stealing cars and it derailed his life and how he got his life back on track. And as if the rest of the room disappeared and this young man and this man who turned his life around engage in a dialogue about how does one turn one's life around. So what makes you happy? What do you, what do you believe in you know, about yourself? Or what are you good at? And the kid pops up and he says, you know, I'm a really good artist. And his mother starts laughing. And she says, you can't pay this woman back $4,000 with your art. And just then the victim jumps in and she says, oh, yes, he can. Yes, he can, actually. If he paints me a Tinkerbell as tall as I am, I'll forgive all the debt. And, and we're all looking at each other like, a Tinkerbell? I'm sorry, did she say Tinkerbell? Some people might say, oh, that's soft on crime. He stole a car and he gets to paint something. But if that's what the victim wanted and that's what keeps him out of trouble for the rest of his life, then we should be really happy about Tinkerbell.